Hello, everybody. I hope you are doing well. I hope life is good for you, that you are happy and contented and look forward to each new day. But life can have worries too, can't it? You might have things in your life that you worry about. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about how, even if we have worries, we are never alone. There is someone we can turn to. Our story today is called Bob the Bird. One day, Bob the Bird went to visit his friends. First, he flew to the farm to see Kevin the Quail. Come and see the farmer, said Kevin. You won't believe it. He has sown his crop, but every day he worries. What if it doesn't rain? What if the plants don't grow? What if I don't have enough food for my family? Poor, poor fellow! Doesn't he have a father in heaven like the one who cares for birds? Bob said goodbye to Kevin and flew to town to see Penelope the pigeon. Come and see the butcher, said Penelope. You won't believe it. He says his sausages are all beef, but I've seen him fill them. They're half sawdust. Every day he worries. If I don't cut corners, I'll go broke. If I go broke, I'll lose my shop. If I lose my shop, I'll lose my reputation as a respectable businessman. Poor, poor fellow. Doesn't he have a father in heaven like the one who cares for birds? It was getting late, so Bob said goodbye to Penelope and flew off to visit his old friend, Ozzy the Owl. Come and look at this, said Ozzy. You won't believe it. She does an honest day's work, then stays up every night worrying. What if prices go down? What if my wages go down? What if I fall asleep and someone steals my money? Doesn't she have a father in heaven like the one who cares for birds? Now, the next day, Bob saw a crowd of worried people. He felt sad because they didn't seem to have a father in heaven who cared for them. But in the middle of the crowd was one man who looked happy. Don't worry about your life, he said. Don't worry about having something to eat or wear. Life is more than food and clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They don't plant or harvest. They don't even store grain in barns. Yet your father in heaven feeds them. Hooray, said Bob. The people do have a father in heaven who cares for them. If only they would believe it. So what did you make of that story? There were certainly lots of people with lots of worries, weren't there? And it is true that life can go wrong in all sorts of ways. There are plenty of important things that can trouble us and stress us out. These can make us worry. Jesus knew this. He said, each day has enough trouble of its own. Every day has its own worries. But, and this is the thing to think about in the story, we do not have to worry alone. We can tell our mums and our dads and those who care for us what we are worried about, and that is great. And we can tell God, just talking to God in our own words like we're talking to a really, really close friend. Because get this, God really cares. God really cares about you and you and you and you and you. God cares about you all. God cares about all children and all people. This story isn't about saying, don't worry, be happy, in a flip sort of a way. 
This isn't what Jesus is saying. He knew that life could be harsh and have problems. Instead, he is saying that when life is tough and uncertain and unfair, God is with us. And God is with us because God cares. We can say what we are worried about and place it in the hands of the Father in heaven who cares for us. That's good news. Something to sing and dance about. Let's get ready for our song now. And I'll say bye for now. So, bye for now. Mm-hmm.